Hey babes, I'm back with another YouTube video and today I wanted to talk to you guys about liquid and bead, oops, liquid and bead ratio. So I'm just going to go over how I like to pick up my different size beads and I'm also going to talk about different acrylic brands and understanding when to use your acrylic powder. So we're just going to jump right into it. And I'm also going to show you guys the ratio that I use. This is also the ratio that I teach in my classes. So... For our first bead, we're gonna pick up a we're gonna pick up a small bead, and I'm gonna use Valentino for my first set of beads. For the other ones, I'm just gonna show you guys the different consistencies and the powders. So, when I want to get a small bead, I'm gonna go into my monomer, make sure I get all of the bubbles out, and I'm gonna come out of my monomer and lightly wipe the edge of my brush three times. So I'm gonna do it again, going into the monomer. I'm gonna wipe my brush, one, two, three. And at a high angle, I'm going to pick up my powder. So you wanna remember that the lower your brush is when you're going into the powder, the larger the bead's gonna be. So even if I go in here and I wipe three times, if I go in at a much lower angle, the bead's gonna be larger. But we want a smaller bead. So I'm gonna go in at a higher angle. So I'm gonna do it one more time. So I'm gonna go into my monomer, I'm gonna wipe my brush three times. One, two, three. And at my high angle, I'll go into my powder one time. And here we have it, a small bead. So this is what it looks like. Clearly this was a bad representation, so I'm just gonna use one of my darker colors to show you guys again. I'm gonna wipe my brush. One, two, three. Same process, high angle, go into my powder one time. This is much better, yes. And they came out the same size. So I'll do this again with my purple powder. I'm gonna wipe three times, one, two, three. Get that high angle and into my powder one time. Now remember, the longer you hold your brush in there, can give you a larger bead too let me just show you guys so if i do one two three and i go into my powder and instead of staying in for two seconds i stay in for about four oops i'll get a larger bead so you guys do just want to be careful and this bead is super super dry and it's going to take a super long time for this to start to cure but i just wanted to show you guys that there could be different things that's causing your beads to come out different sizes the lower the brush is the bigger the bead is going to be and of course the longer you stay in the powder the more product you're going to pick up so i'm going to do a medium sized bead once again with this purple powder and i'm going to do it down here so i'm going to wipe twice this time right and i'm going to go into my powder at about a medium angle so this was my high angle so I'm going to go in about right here because this would be my lowest one for my larger bead. So we're going to do one, two. Remember, we're not going too high this time. It's medium angle. And one, two. And now we have a larger bead. So now we have our medium bead. And you guys can see the differences between the two sizes. So let's do it again. So we're going to do one, two. Remember, you want to get it at a medium angle, and we're going to do one, two. So, boom. Once again, if you keep your brush in for longer, you're going to get a larger bead. I'm just going to show you guys again. So, we're going to do one, two, and this time, I'm going to hold my brush in for a little longer, and this is going to create a larger bead. So, let's do one, two. So, now we got this real big bead. It's a bunch of powder in the back of the bead as well. And like I said, this bead is dry, y'all. This bead is super, super dry. But I just wanted to show you guys the differences between holding it in longer. So let's do one more medium one. So we're gonna do one, two. Remember, you wanna get that medium angle, not too high. And we're gonna go one, two. And we have our medium size bead. So lastly, we're gonna do a large bead. So for my large bead, I'm only gonna wipe 
one time. So after wiping one time, now I can come in at my lowest angle. I'm not holding it flat, but I'm holding it a little lower than it was before for the medium bead. And same thing, just into the powder three times. One, two, three. And this will create my larger bead. So then we'll just place it here, wipe it down. That one's a little dry. So we're gonna do it again. So wipe once into the powder, low angle, one, two, three. Once again, we have a larger bead. I'm gonna place it right there. And let's do it one more time. So wipe once, low angle, one, two, three. So I'm also not staying in the powder for too, too long because staying in the powder for too long, like I said, it's gonna give you a larger bead. Let's show you guys again. Let's do one, two, three. And it's not even like, you know, curing everything. Like there's still parts of the bead that's super, super dry. And you guys can see it's still not doing much of anything. So you kind of want to avoid that. You really don't want to stay in the powder for too long to try to avoid this powdery mistake. So let's just put her over there. So I have different brands here with me today and I should have used something else besides this really like bubbly pink color. So I just wanted to talk to you guys about when the bead's actually ready. So let's, let's pick up a medium bead. So I'm wiping twice. Remember, get that medium angle and one, two. So I'm gonna turn my light as high as I can. So you know the bead is ready to use when it starts to get glossy. So right now it's actually still, you know, going through the process and you guys are gonna see it's gonna go from a kind of orange peel like state to something that's really glossy. So right here is when I would use this bead. Now that it's glossy, I know that it's not gonna run off of my nail. So I'm gonna show you guys what that's gonna look like on an actual practice nail. I'm gonna show you guys what it's gonna look like if the bead was too wet. So if I just, I don't know, wipe once or whatever, just, just random ratio. When I place this down, immediately it's starting to run. And this is happening because it's too wet. And if you use these wet beads on your client, they're gonna experience a heat spike. Now, if they do experience a heat spike, that's okay, but you're gonna make sure that you have some alcohol nearby, a little spray bottle, so that you can spray their nail when it's getting warm. Now, this is, you know, if the bead is this wet. So now I'm gonna show you guys what the proper um, ratio and allowing it to cure would look like. So for my next one, because you guys see how liquidy that is. So this time, I'm just going to get a medium bead. So I'm going to wipe twice like before. Medium angle and one, two. We're actually going to sit here and we're going to wait for this to get really, really smooth. So once it gets glossy, it's ready to use. So you guys see it's still going through the process. Sometimes if this is taking too long, I'll even start to tap it a little bit on my, you know, dapping dish. And once this is nice and glossy, now I can go ahead and place this. You see the difference? This time it's sitting there. I actually have time to go back and move it around without me having to worry about if it's going to run. And this way your client won't experience, you know, any heat spike. Just wanted to show you guys how much different everything came out. With here, I have way more control than what was going on over here. So another thing I want to talk to you guys about is different brands. So here I have some chisel acrylic powder. First of all, let me tell y'all, I have so many chisel acrylic powders. I actually plan on removing all of my Nail by John, all of my Nail Supply Glamour because I just like chisel. I like them a lot and they're at the nail supply store. So I could just go and get them. So here I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of a difference when it comes to different brands. Because I actually haven't seen somebody make a video just discussing that different powders and monomers are going to have different consistencies. So because of this, you do want to be cautious when you're just bouncing around and trying different acrylic brands because you will have to adjust to the different ratios. So here... Let's pick up another medium bead. So I'm going to do one, two. Remember, you want to get that medium angle butt right here. And let's do one, two. 
Now, Chisel's acrylic powder does cure much faster than Nail by John, at least in my opinion it does. So once again, we're just going to sit here and kind of wait for it to start to get glossy. Boom, it got glossy. Once it's glossy, I can now press this down. Right, but this is, you know, much different. Um, this one is a little looser, in my opinion, than the Nail by John's acrylic. You guys can kind of see it's a little softer right now. Now I am also using my Mia Secret Monomer as I'm doing this. I love their monomer. Um, and this this is good to me. Like I, I'm gonna start to bring my color down. So you guys seen how that looked? Mm. Claudie's brand. Um, I'm not sure if you guys heard of this brand before, but her acrylic powders are good. So let's just do one, two, and medium angle, one, two. So here, now this bead might take a little longer to cure. You guys see it's still kind of powdery. Um, I like to wait until it's glossy to use, but some brands, um, some slower setting powders, may do this for a little while so i'll try to speed it up by tapping it on the side but look even now it's still not glossy and this is not saying the brand is bad not at all it's just like i said different brands are going to have different consistencies as you guys see here it's still not glossy regardless of me patting it on the side i could see it starting to change a little bit but not really too much so I'm going to show you what it would look like if I decided to go ahead and place this anyways. So I placed it and look, it's, it's actually not runny. I'll kind of play with it a little bit before I start to bring it down, but it's still not runny. And I just wanted to show you guys that because different brands will have a different consistency. So I just wanted to show you guys that, um, Let's do one, two, one, two, because this powder is going to get glossy much, much faster than the other one. But like I said, that doesn't mean the color powder is bad. It's just that you'll want to find a consistency that you like. So that was that one. So let's do one, two. We're going to go to Nail Bon John because you see how fast that got glossy. This one gets glossy, you know, not quickly, but it's definitely a little longer than chisel. But it seems it's already starting to get a little glossy. And then once this is fully just shiny, glossy, smooth, that's when I'll start to use it. So we're still just sitting here waiting for it to get glossy and now it's glossy and that's when I would decide to use it. Okay. So we're going to pick up some beads again. So this time let's use the chisel powder. So now remember for the small bead, we're going to go into our monomer, wipe three times. And at that high angle, we're just going to dip into our powder once. And I have my small bead. So one, let's do it again. So one, two, three, high angle, one time. And we have a similar bead. Medium, one, two. Medium angle, one, two. Now this time, we got a larger bead. Lastly, let's do this again. One, two. Medium angle, one, two. And they're coming out the same size, right? So lastly, for our large one, we're gonna wipe once. Our lowest angle, one, two, three. And we have our largest bead, so let's do it again. So one, low angle, one, two, three. 
And once again, we have a big old bead. So I really do hope that this video helped you guys. And if you would love to be a part of the beauty community, feel free to subscribe. So if you guys did enjoy this YouTube video, please be sure to like and comment. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video. And also let me know down below if you do have any questions.